Alright, today you will learn how I went from basically no experience to being able to draw in less than 7 days of work. Let's do it. It all started out on a lazy afternoon scrolling through Amazon when I came across drawing tablets. I've seen people create amazing art with them, so I ordered the cheapest one I could find. It came with the basic drawing tablet, pen, and glove. I immediately went to go set it up so I could use it. But then I realized there was one minor inconvenience. Wait, I don't even know how to draw yet. I had to learn how to draw first. So Michael went to Michael's to pick up some supplies. Excuse me. Yeah. Is this a section for sketchbooks or? I'm um, aisle 68 on the other All right, side. thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Jackpot. $15? Oh my god, dude. You know how many chicken nuggets I can get with $15? Now, I had a sketchbook, eraser, and pencil. Plural. I was ready to start. I didn't really have a goal in mind, so I drew three things with my current abilities. A human figure, portrait drawing, <laughs> What is that? Wait, it and a cute style panda. These drawings are so bad. I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> so after watching many YouTube videos and online presentations, everyone starts with the basics. Drawing shapes. Being able to draw circles, ovals, squares, rectangles, and triangles were essential to building that foundation. I was pretty comfortable with everything but circles and ovals. But after another 30 minutes of practice, I was seeing an improvement. I'm definitely seeing improvement already. Next, we take our shape making skills we just learned and apply them to everyday objects. This is how to see from an artist's point of view, breaking down complex subjects into drawable shapes. First, I tried drawing this bird. I was terrible in the beginning. But then I tried to draw this horse. The outline took me 30 minutes and another 15 minutes to go over it in fine liner. This is the part where you don't want to make any mistakes. But eventually, I drew the best drawing of a horse I've ever made. I'm amazed how this came out. Next up, shading. Shading allows us to create perspective and depth to our drawings. It makes our drawings more realistic and stand out more. First, I created this sphere. The trick is to hold your pencil like this, and use your whole arm instead of your wrist, controlling the pressure of your pencil to make shading lighter or darker. I wasn't happy with my first attempt, so I tried one more time and ended up with something I was proud of. Now it was getting more difficult. Figure drawing. Being able to draw the human form in any of its various shapes and postures. The reason this was so difficult is because we don't see humans only from the front, back, side, or even upside down. The body can be seen from a three-quarter view. Not only that, we twist and bend and it's quite difficult to capture that accurately. At first, I was absolutely horrible. I just couldn't seem to draw accurately and I was getting really frustrated. But after 10 hours of figure drawing, I was finally happy with my results. The trick is not to copy the subject. Exaggerate the fluid motions and push the curvature. Study how the body curves and add shadows to create depth. Also, just draw more. This takes time. Now, something I was looking forward to. Drawing in a cute style. First, I practiced drawing a boy and a girl. Then I worked on the three-quarter view and the side view. Once I was comfortable getting the proportions right, it was time to mix up the features. I experimented with different eyes, mouths, expressions, hairstyle, and even body types. I was having a lot of fun. To challenge myself, I took on the task of drawing myself into a chibi character. After four hours of practicing and 40 minutes of drawing my own character, I was done. I did it. What the hell? 
next up, the final boss. Portrait drawing. Being able to draw hyper-realistic drawings and capture the display of likeness, personality, and even the mood of the person. This is where I had to take all my knowledge of drawing I just learned and put it into action. Everyone recommended all these materials like blending stumps, kneadable erasers, and other things I've never heard of. All I had was a pencil, lead pencil, basic erasers, cotton swabs, and tissues. No excuses. I was going to make it work with what I had. First, I needed a good reference photo. You want to choose one with good light and shade to not only make it easier to draw, but to make for a more interesting composition. If we squint our eyes, we can see light and shade more easily. The first thing I did was make a grid. This helps me accurately draw the proportions. Also, the drawing is now broken into easier chunks to draw. I used my lead pencil for the fine details and used my regular pencil along with the cotton swabs and tissues to blend the shadows. After six and a half hours of non-stop drawing, I completed the best drawing of my entire life. And that is how I learned to draw. Hopefully this gave some of you guys some inspiration that just with a desire to learn, you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed or even learned something from this video. It helps me immensely. With that being said, remember, don't let your current situation define your final outcome. Discover your curiosity. Stay safe, guys.